But 25 years ago, Angie Hicks and Bill Osterley co-founded Angie's List, a platform uh, giving consumers access to reports and ratings on service providers in hundreds of categories. It quickly grew into a business that at one time employed nearly 2,000 people uh, in Indianapolis. Three years ago, Angie's List merged with Colorado-based Home Advisor to form Angie Home Services. How has the company evolved and what's really driving a current hiring push? For some answers, we turn to Angie's List co-founder, Angie Hicks. And Angie, as always, it's great to see, see you even virtually. Great to see you too, Gary. I mentioned it doesn't seem like it's been three years, but it has been uh, three years since the combination uh, with Home Advisor. Uh, how, how has it gone? How have these last three years gone? You know, it's gone really well. It's been fun to see uh, to see renewed focus uh, around the Angie's List brand and seeing it uh, return to growth, which has been really exciting for all of us that work on the Angie's List brand in particular. Yeah, well, as you look at the pandemic, it has impacted uh, many businesses in a negative way, but some in a positive way. And you can make the argument, I think, that this has really benefited uh, uh, Angie's List as you look at uh, we're all spending more time at home. We're doing more things uh, at home, home office, education, right. all those types of things. That's really had an impact on the business. Yeah, I really think the home is having a moment, and I think it's going to be long lasting after the pandemic. So, of course, you know, over the last six months, we have spent all of our time so focused around our home. Vacations were put on hold, and we turned to putting in swimming pools and doing landscaping. Uh, but it's really made us look around to see what things needed to be fixed up. Uh, it was interesting that, you know, a good portion of, of people were using their stimulus money to actually invest in home improvements. Mm. Uh, and we're seeing that as we continue to go through the summer months here, which is the high season for home improvement. Yeah, and you talk about investing money in home improvements. You mentioned pools. A lot of people, as we were talking off camera before the interview here, a lot of people, you say, are, are using this opportunity to install pools. Absolutely. It's kind of funny because pools isn't a big, it isn't typically a big category. I mean, it's, you know, an in-ground pool is a big investment, obviously, but when vacations went on hold, people scrambled to figure out how they could uh, make their backyard a little more fun. And the request for pool installation, whether it was in-ground or above ground, uh, really went, <laughs> went through the roof. Yeah. Well, let's talk, uh, Angie, because as you talk, and I know you reported a, a strong second quarter in terms of the numbers, uh, that's also led uh, to a, a hiring push in the middle right now of hiring uh, more employees. This is uh, the company's second largest location outside of the company's headquarters uh, in Denver. Talk about the hiring push. What kinds of jobs you're looking to fill? We absolutely have a number of different types of openings. We have openings in our sales organization, both on the Angie's List side and the Home Advisor side. We have a Home Advisor sales office here in India as well. And then on the corporate side, uh, product and tech. <laughs> you know, those, those positions that are always in high demand, uh, we're looking for those too. Okay, so we look going forward, you really do feel that this uh, kind of changing dynamic uh, of the home is going to be around for a while, so you anticipate this impacting the business going forward. It's, I think it's really going to be interesting. I think uh, I think it's going to be help push millennials into becoming homeowners who might have been a little hesitant, who had gone through quarantine living in an apartment, might say, hey, I might want a little more space if something like this would happen again. Um, also, the fact that, you know, many more companies are going to remote work. Uh, we might be able to attract some of those people that choose to live in New York or San Francisco because that's where their job is. If they can work remote, they might come here to central Indiana. And I could see and I could see that driving more home ownership because it's obviously much more economical, especially in the Midwest. Angie's List co-founder Angie Hicks. Angie, always great to see you in a hiring mode. The you footprint uh, still substantial here. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. All right.